Aboriginal art centres are warning Australia's $200 million Indigenous art industry could be under threat if tiny remote homeland communities are not given more financial support. The organisation, representing more than 40 top-end art centres, is calling for a federal parliamentary inquiry. Since regaining their traditional land in the 1970s, Jambawa Marawili's family has built houses, a school, a campground and a shop at Baniella, their remote homeland on Arnhem Land's Blue Mud Bay. I have invested a little bit of money from my, from my own art and made a shop and the shop is running now very well. But the renowned artist is worried. A reduction of federal and Northern Territory government financial support and services to the Territory's 500 smallest remote communities could see them fail. We, we are not asking for big money, we are asking for a little money just to, you know, to strengthen our lifestyle. It's been an ongoing demoralisation really about, about the homelands. The Top End's biggest art centre association says the communities are the source of Australia's multi-million dollar indigenous art industry. So it's calling for a federal inquiry into homeland support. If the homelands um, are not appreciated in the right way um, and they're not nurtured and looked after, we're going to eventually that will impact badly on the art movement. They say it's long overdue as the last federal inquiry into the homelands movement was held 33 years ago. It's so precious and it's part of our national heritage and it's part of the healing that we need to go through as a country. As well as producing art, some homeland residents have jobs as rangers and in tourism. But the Federal Science Agency is confident other remote enterprises are possible. Some forestry for local building materials is very compatible with some bush food development at the same time as people are running an ecotourism and uh, uh, an aquaculture um, operation. They're the kind of projects Jambawa Marawili hopes he and other homeland residents will get help to start. So they could be living on their country and, and developing some economic uh, business for their own future. And a stepping stone towards self-sufficiency. Jane Barden, ABC News.